Hey Pancakers, today we are here with a jet balloon uh, boss video on Deck the Yacht, Grab Eddie and hop into a new game. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get Survivor down here, uh, get him to sentry gun, and then get a farm to a 200 here, and get one above it to a 200 above it. You might have to set this to strong in some ways. After you've done those two, get Eddie in right above the engineer here. Then get another farm to a 200. Um, and then get this to a 202. Uh, prioritize a 102 and then get a 202. And then set it to strong with Eddie in there. Then get two more farms, one here and here, to 200s. After you've done that, get a sniper monkey right here to a 100. Um, set to strong. And then get another um, farm right here to 200 before getting a spike factory right here. After you've gotten this spike factory, um, you want to then get a boomerang monkey like right here. You want to get this to 302 and then get two more 200 farms. I'll, and then get a. Dot monkey like right here and get that to a zero two three and then get your boomerang to a um four zero two and I will see you right before the next boss. See you then. Okay, when you reach this round, what you should be able to do is convert this farm to a three two zero. After you've converted that one to a three two zero, you want to convert this one to a three two zero and this one to a two two zero. After you've done that, just save up for the next boss and let's see again. Hey Pancakers, we're right before the first boss, and now what you want to do is get a wizard monkey right here. And you want to get to a 210. After you do that, get a ninja monkey that's just barely reaching over here, or not reaching over here. And then you want to get it to a sticky bombs, so it should be reaching both sides now, and get it to a shop share things. After you've done that, you want to start the boss, get this to long reach, and then smart spikes, set to spot. Then you want to get this to fast fire, even faster fire. And then you want to get another boomerang down here. And you want to get this to a glade ricochet, red hot rings. And then you want to get this to a wall of fire, set the wall to be over back here and you want to eventually save up to get this to a dragon's breath okay after you get that to a dragon's breath you now want to save up for a plane put it like right above at the end get it to figure infinite and then get it to operation dot storm with spy plane make sure to get by the plane first though after you get operation dot storm you want to save up to get this to more glaives after you get that to more glaives you want to get this to faster production long life spikes And now he will start summoning these balloons. When you see these get to around here, you want to use Eddie's ability. So like now, get faster production and then get an alchemist back here to acidic mixture tip to help damage those balloons. And then you want to get this to Berserker Brew Piercing Potions try to help keep uh, the rock balloons at bay. And now since we've broken the barrier, um, you now want to start, you want to get a farm, now farm a village here. Get this village to a bigger radius. And now uh, he should start being blown up. 
buy your ninja monkey, get this to monkey business, and then save up to get banana plantation. And you shouldn't lose to these rock balloons, but make sure to use Adrian's ability to make sure uh, no of them leak. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to get every single one of these to a banana plantation with long life spikes. Uh, I will be back after I've done that to tell you what to do next. See you then. Okay, welcome back, pancakers. The first thing you want to do is get a druid right here. You want to get this druid to hard thorns, thorns on the heart of oak. And then you want to get to a jungle's bowing. And then you want to place down as many uh, 203 farms around here over here as possible and then save up until the next boss i will see you then so i do want to warn you pancakers uh round 55 should be the last one you're getting these farms on um but yeah other than that i'll see you at the next boss all right welcome back pancakers the first thing you want to do is sell every single one of these farms after you've done so you want to upgrade this to spear of the forest heart of thunder And then you want to get a village over here. Want to get this village to bigger radius jungle drums. And then start the boss but get a glaive lord as well. And then you want us to start saving. Make sure to continue to use this ability whenever possible. And actually before you start saving you do want to get a... Um, Engineer Monkey over here, do Balloon Trap, Larger Service Area Deconstruction, and sit at the very end edge of your range over there. What you're hoping for is to uh, break a mob or something else by the time it gets in so you can get some stuff in your Balloon Trap. Just keep going for this, get Monkey Town, get Monkey City, and now we're going for a Banana Research Facility. Use Edian's abilities um, when they come off cooldown to hit the boss. You don't have to use the Drone Swarm ability um, right now because it's not really hitting anything. But you should also be getting quite a few extra lives on the Passive Lord, wherever you named your Druid, your Spear of the Forest. And round 63 shouldn't be that hard because it should be hitting um, the spikes. And we should start seeing a ton of damage going into the boss via the get sprockets here via the glaive of our lord get sentry expert now and now save up for more banana research facilities And now what you want to do is you want to save up to get as many banana research facilities as you can. After you've gone all of them to banana research facilities, you want to get as many two, um, two zero threes as possible over here. You also want to get this to a monkey comrades to cheapen some of the villages, some of the farms you put over here. And after you've done that, you want to get them to two zero fours. Um, and you want to do that, but stop getting your farms at round 75, or like right after round 75, finish up whatever farm you have. If you get one on round 75 and it goes to round 76, but never get a new one on 76. And I will see you right before the next boss, see you then. Hey Pancakers, welcome back. The first thing you want to do is sell every single one of these farms. And now we're going to convert this to a Monkeyopolis with Jungle Jams. After you've done that, you want to put a farm here. You want to get to a marketplace, increase and then greater production. And then you want to uh, figure out which hotkey it is for farms. It seems like it's H, yep. Kind of a weird hotkey, but it's fine. 
and then surround this with farms. After you've surrounded it with farms, you want to put another farm right here. And then you want to get this to your primary expertise. Get two of these to banana research facilities. And then you want to get a spike factory over here. In this spike factory, you want to be at a copy of spikes with white hot spikes. It'll take a second to get to a carpet, but that should be fine because there are actual tracks over there. Now you want to get each one of these to a banana plantation. This part will be kind of slow, but it should be fine. After you get each one of those to a banana plantation, get all of them to valuable bananas. And make sure to continue using your druid's ability. And you want to save up to get this to a master banner. After you get to Master Bomber, hey, you want to get more banana research facilities. Now we should be doing constant slow chip. Make sure to use Eddie Ann's abilities and the Spike Storm's abilities. And we're now doing damage against the boss by blowing it up. It's immune to magic, but eventually it should end up being fine. Because after we destroy this layer, it will no longer be immune to magic and the Master Bomber should be able to do the rest. And as you see, it's taking massive chunks to its HP bar now. Now you want to get all of these to banana research facilities. After you've done that, you want to get this to a central market and then a monkey Wall Street. Then you want to get one of these to a banana central. After you got them to Banana Central, line this area over here with three dot monkeys. Get one to a five to zero, and then get the rest to a three. Wait, no, zero three twos. Except you want two of them to be zero four twos and one of them to be a zero five two. Then you want to get this to Banana. You also want to get this to Banana Central. Then you also want to get this to an XXXL trap and then save up for the rest of the thing for the next boss and I will see you right before then. See you then. Hey Pancakers, welcome back. The first thing you want to do is upgrade this to a crossbow master if you haven't already. Get to an Apex plasma master, don't put any money into it. Then you want to get a permacharge over here. You want to get a Mom Dom over here with faster throwing, faster rings. And then you want to get a helipad over here to pursue downdraft support to next special operations. Get an engineer over here. This engineer wants to be an ultra boost with pin. After you have done that, you want to get some planes uh, somewhere in the range of here. And you want one plane to be a flying fortress. And you want the other plane to be centered path with Zabamba. 
then you want to upgrade this to deadly spikes and then upgrade this to strongest impermeable upgrade this to large caliber deadly precision and then start the boss get this to cripple moab after you start the boss and then start using your ultra boost on your farms to get more money and you can also use your um Zar Bomba to do extra damage to start. You also want to get this to your Wizard Lord Phoenix. And then go find out where your uh, engineer is and get to a Sentry Champion. Yeah, all we're wanting to do here is upgrade this to plus 10 Ultra Boost and then upgrade these to starting to upgrade them to plus 10 Ultra Boost. And as you see, the boss is taking some damage. I'm just going to use my abilities. I'm going to place this over here now. So this can buff um, this, probably this as well, but also the sniper, to allow the sniper to do more damage. And you're just wanting to move that around, I'm also using this ability to summon him. Using Zabamba some more. Yeah, we just want to keep Ultra boosting our farms. Once it's in range of the Dark Paragon, it should die basically instantly, as we see here. And now we just keep Ultra boosting farms and wait until the next pass, and I'll see you then. Hey, Pancakers, welcome back. The first thing you want to do is upgrade your um, Boomerang Monkey in here to a Paragon, don't invest any extra money in it. Then you want to find your uh, Engineer Paragon over here. Invest no extra money in it. Sell all of your farms now. Find your... Uh, find your plane over here and get it to Goliath Doom shit. Don't invest any extra money into it. And then just start the boss. You should very easily be able to kill it once it gets to the point where you can kill it. You can use your abilities to make some extra money. You can also kind of sell everything too if you want to try to get a ninja paragon. Getting the green sentry over here. You don't have to get the sentries right anywhere, but I'm gonna get this bombing ship like this. And I'm gonna put the other paragons in range of the village right here. And they will start placing down sentries. So the sentry paragon places sentries that places sentries. So it's sentryception. Gonna place this down, gonna use my abilities. And even if you do leak a uh, mob, you shouldn't lose just because of how many lives you should have saved up by now. Through the um, Spear of the Forest and the Hell Pilot. Though the Spear of the Forest alone probably would save up basically this many lives. So I'm to magic now, so I'm going to use these abilities. I'm going to use the magic ability too, since it should immediately go down to, uh, yeah. And you've been the boss now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Um, yeah. 
my mouth's recovering from my tooth appointment. And let me show you what the map looked like afterwards. This is what the map looked like. We ended with four paragons. All of them weren't very high level, but uh, it, they do the job just fine. And hope you guys uh, liked the video. Have a great day, pancakers, and bye-bye.